Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Disruption Podcast. We are your hosts, it's Noor. Yo, it's Chief Paul Sludge in the building, baby. It's so easy. All <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> right. He's the prince. He's the boy, and Carlos. We, what's up, what's up? How we feeling? We're good, we're good, man. How's everybody doing? Yeah, we're chilling, man. Great week. Last week we were joking that Ma wasn't here, but this week she actually isn't here. Yeah, she ain't here. Yeah, yeah I think Rona she's got to her. Ah, yeah. Oh, what you said, Rona got to her. Whoa, the yeah. Rona. Try to pray in the chat for my kids, man. Nah, nah, nah. Ma was uh, Ma you know was so crazy, yeah. Uh. You know what's so crazy, yeah. So obviously the coronavirus is always very serious, yeah. But at what stage did we give it their nickname, the Rona? Bro, from the first week, people were like, hi, that Rona. <laughs> bro, because, like, I was at work, I was laughing, I was like, ha, ha, hey, y'all, because of the Rona, that the Rona, like... Bro, I'd be saying Auntie Rona, and people got it. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize, okay, so we all joking about this like that. Bro. Or not the, not the situation, but the name. Like, yeah, I was like, oh, yeah. all right. Yeah, um, nah, it's just weird, because some people are going to say, y'all, because of the Rona, they're like, wait, what? And then they start laughing about it. I'm just like, you you haven't heard that before? You don't call it like that. I don't know. You know what it is? I think it's a coping mechanism. Saying Corona, it makes it too real, bro. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it makes it too real. We're still in that phase where we're like, ah, kip, kip, kip. yeah, it's so funny, bro, whatever. But really, more hurting, bro. All the pastors yeah. that, because Corona means crown in yeah. Spanish or something, and they're like, ooh, see the crown. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. <laughs> Please settle down. <laughs> oh, man, oh my! Yeah, man. What's happening with you guys? Right? How are we doing today? Yeah, so obviously we're in Victoria, and it's just been announced today that we're in state of emergency for another twelve months, which will mean eighteen months in total. Right. Now I have a lot to say about this whole Andrews situation. Oh, let's let's hear. Like. All right, so I, this was, I don't know if I've said this on the podcast, but my opinion with the way he was moving from the start, yeah, he was doing everything on his own accord kind of thing because I felt like politically the guy was trying to be the one that does Save the best job yeah. so then he can run for PM of the nation after this, right? Because they'll be like, oh, shoot, look at how well Victoria did. And then it was that leader. Well, we should have him lead our whole country, right? Granted, he's obviously done the worst out of everyone now. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. so, that's how I feel like the guy was moving. Because you know how, like, um, Scott Morrison obviously, like, told everyone, you know, I'll send the military to guard the hotels and that kind of thing. Right. The, for the quarantines, right, at the start. All, I think most right. of them, all of them had said, yes, sure, send them across. Our guy was like, um, nah, I'll find my own security company. Yeah. Now the security companies he found, what did they end up doing? They were, you know, letting people walk in and out a little bit. <laughs> they were doing the thicket on the people in the, in the, in the hotels. They were, wow. dropping off, they were dropping off some quarantine. <laughs> All right. That's what was happening. Right. From the people that he hired. Now the other day they do a whole, um, uh, research whatever and there's like an inquiry into it yeah bro it's like a hundred thousand pages inquiry to the high court and stuff like that 99 percent of cases in victoria stem from the hotel quarantine mess up right? whoa that's crazy bro Which means everybody that's died is because our premier didn't want to take the, the military support the military but did you also support. hear what he said he said that he didn't get the approval to get the support or something like that. That's yeah. why he didn't go for it. <laughs> yeah. So it's because um, he was on a conference or something like that, and they asked him, that, like, why didn't you take that support that was provided? And then he was like, I didn't get the permission to take that support. But if yeah. it's awkward, why would they be like, hmm? Nah, um, I, I thought something else that came out after talking about that, and then basically the military's reply to that was cap. Damn. Yeah, so he came out trying to say that he didn't get that support. Yeah, so he came out trying to say that he didn't, um, that support was not there. And then they kind of came back to him and said, what are you saying, bro? We yeah. said that we are here. Yeah, wow. Anyway, so then 
obviously everyone that's died now and, and this and like the way the, the amount of billions of dollars that have been lost and stuff right for businesses the business that closed down all this kind of stuff shouldn't that technically be kind of on him now i know his position would kind of like remove him from being personally liable to criminal charges all that kind of stuff but it's like bro you are not getting elected again and like especially now that they're now they're, they're sus about this whole other thing that's like um because you know how they've announced the state of emergencies for another 12 months apparently the law has always been you can't do it for more than six months at a time right? yeah you're, you're not meant to six yeah. months and then at the end of that, if you need, announce another six months. But yeah. they quickly passed a little thing through, like a legislation that's like, okay, we can do this for 12 months. Mm. Now, everyone's kind of like, bro, that's like, I get why you need it for longer or something maybe, but it's a little bit uncomfortable how quickly you pass something that is to serve your purpose, sort of. You know what I mean? Apparently, okay, it's been doing... Apparently, he's been working with, with his solicitor for a minute now, trying to get that extension. Mm. So I think, um, I think they. I think like he looked, he knew the six months is coming up. He's like, oh yeah, bet you know we need to extend it. Um, but again, it's just something that's not like really put out there, kind of like that, like on on the news or on right. Facebook news kind of stuff. It's like one of those ways, like you gotta read about it, and then you're like, oh, that's what he's trying to do. That's how I knew about it because I was reading into right. it, and then I was like, oh, that's what he's trying to do. And then later on, we end up being surprised when we find out this is what he's doing. But like weeks ago, he was working with his lawyer trying to get this extension ahead. Yeah. I've been seeing a lot of people lose their minds um, thinking that that equals the stage four lockdown. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, bro, everyone's <laughs> thinking like, okay, we're in this for another 12 months. <laughs> people going crazy. <laughs> right. Instagram stories and everything. People to move out, bro. I refuse. Uh, you guys see him get pressed by the reporter like four or five days ago? Nah. I've right. only ever watched one press conference, but that was oh, the one. It was one hilarious. Time. My dad sent me the link, right? She, she goes, she, she reads out the statement. She goes, you know, on the day that we were, like right before you announced stage four restrictions, you like grilled the Victorian people and you were like 25% of you haven't adhered to social distancing rules and all the things and whatnot. And like she was, so she read out like this whole thing that he said. And then she goes, um, now that we know that it was only under 1% of people that weren't doing that. And it's actually all your fault because you didn't do the hotel quarantine situation. Right. Are you sorry for what you said? <laughs> I love his response. You know what he said? I think you answered that question uh, yourself. I said, what? <laughs> Bro. And she was like, you he, he wanted to move on. Yeah, like, uh, like, what well, the question that she asked was was a pretty good question because I was, yeah, I was exactly. like, yo, good question. And then he he didn't answer the question. He was trying to put it back to her, say, oh yeah, I think the answer you're looking for, you just you know, you just found it yourself. But, yeah, next question. I said, what? Mm. <laughs> right. This is madness, man. He's definitely not getting reelected. That's for sure. I don't think people like him anymore. Like as a person, they're like, eh, I don't really like you. Being which, which, I, actually, which is really sucky though for him you know because it's like you just unfortunately <laughs> was in this position you know but obviously sort of yeah but you you handle handle it, it, like, yeah how you handle it when you're in it is what is important but like you know i don't know who the heck else uh, i don't know what's what men like brumby i think that's one of our previous premiers yeah something something brumby yeah. <laughs> you know? and yeah that guy yeah you know they didn't ha they had their run and Rona didn't exist during that period of time. Yeah, they had yeah, other yeah. different things going on, but this was not <laughs> there, you know? Yeah. It's wild how yeah. politics is like that and, like, people are either loved or hated and their legacy is based on how well the time went and normally the time isn't really about them. Like, yeah. Bill Clinton, America loves Bill Clinton until maybe now because of the whole child scandal thing. Mm. Yeah, but it's, like, only because he was there when the dot-com and internet started to boom, you know? Mm. That's really why. His, yeah, yeah. his thing was so successful because even the whole Monica Lewinsky thing they're like yeah, man look man I, they just did the <laughs> you, know, like, you know what we get it she's young attractive right. nah, it's, wow. it, it's actually weird how it's like um, how it's like me and you could be in the same position or like I was elected like less a couple of years ago mm. um, and I didn't have to deal with any something that's that's crazy 
right? And then fast forward, now you've been elected for it. You, you know what I'm saying? And then now you got to deal with all this crazy stuff and you don't approach it the right way. Now you're labeled as this person that doesn't know what they're doing. In call like, it it could have been anybody. You gotta, it could have been anybody yeah. that, because at the same time, we don't know. Maybe, maybe if, if it was someone else besides Dan Andrews in this situation, we could be in a worse situation, right? Mm-hmm. Or we could mm-hmm. be in a better situation. It's one of those where we don't know. And at the same time, because I was talking to people about this, it's like, this is the first time this, this has happened, right? So it's almost like, you know, they don't know which one is the right way. Or they don't know yeah. that if, this, if they do it like this, this is what might happen, right? Yeah. And the thing is, we, we go after them because the outcome was terrible. Mm. But at the same time, it's like, bro, they've never done this before. You get what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they thought yeah. that this was going to work out. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's tough, man. Yeah. Bro, but the numbers of deaths in Victoria have been crazy. <laughs> you know when we were like, when the whole oh, yeah. thing started, and we were like, bro, New South Wales has 25 deaths, man. 25? Mm. Every day, bro. Yeah, bro. Like, yeah. now they're at 40-something. And we're at like two hundred something. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's legit. Like today, there's this many cases and fifteen deaths. Yeah. The like, next day, yeah. two hundred fifty cases, twenty five deaths. I said, whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. Mad because there was a point where no one was. They weren't reporting deaths. It was just cases only. And then now it's like, oh snap! Like, is it? Yeah. Death? Now when you actually see, but at the same time, is the question of. How many of those deaths actually came directly from the virus? As That's well? what I was just going to say, because a lot of it are from the old people mm. homes. And apparently there was that whole deal that they were striking with people where they're like, for every person that dies from COVID in the old people home, they're getting like 25K to the thing. I don't know how that makes sense, bro. Yeah. I don't Whoa. know if you guys heard about this. Yeah. So it was like no. 25K would go to like the old people home. And then they were like, okay, would you let us put it, put them down as like to the family? The, the the place that the person was like the old, the care village or whatever would be like right. find if we write it down as COVID so we get the 25k we'll give you like 9k of it bro that's a legit thing <laughs> that's just like what the heck if, yeah, that's if, madness if that's true then it's like I mean to be honest right like let's say I don't know my grandma dies or something right now and they're like we'll give you 9k I'm like well I mean she's gone already you know Sheesh. She is with okay, those hey. pockets and need salvation. Bro, that's the thing. Everyone's going to, at the end of the day, it's going to be a fend for yourself kind of thing, man. They're like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I, I know what the what the reality of the situation is. I know that I've contributed to faking some numbers, but I got money from it. You guys are stressed. I'm calm. That's, I can see how people would be like, whatever. So Because because I believe, like, the, the deaths are real, that that's coming from the virus and so on and so on. But then again, it goes back, because I was watching videos where it's like, you know, you die from a from a car crash, but you were positive, tested positive. They're gonna be like, okay, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Or, or this the guy has like no limbs left from the car crash, and they're like, COVID. <laughs> but you, you get what I'm saying? It's one of those that obviously I don't know directly. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Again, I believe that you know these deaths are coming from the virus, but then it's just more like, was the virus the main mm. cause of death, or was there something else? And then that just happened. To have the virus as well, right? You got, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you so know, it's, it's a tricky one. You know, I was thinking this is just random. This one there. So you know, treason, yeah. Like obviously, like what, what's what's the charges for treason? Or like, what is the definition of treason? Really, it's like it's lying against the government. right? Is it lying or even what about when you say? I don't know. Let me Google it. Say Google. some like disrespectful things towards. I don't know. if It's disrespectful, but I think it's like more towards lying. Yeah, I don't know. That is, well, right, this is what it is. The crime of betraying one's country, especially oh. by attempting to kill or overthrow the sovereign or government. Oh, okay. All right. Basically, so far from basically life. betraying your country. All right. Because yeah. like, in America, or yeah, I'd say pro- or even, even UK, like against the Queen and that, if cats say rude things about the Queen, you're done. Yeah, this isn't even like a betrayal. Mm-hmm. or conspiracy plot this is just saying rude things here and even or maybe maybe not exactly trump because clearly yg has shown you can make a song and you'll be fine yeah but <laughs> 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 but i was thinking here in australia do we care about our politics like that or we just flame them <laughs> yo yg even made a remix with and remix, rappers yeah. whoa <laughs> that, that's how in, in america maybe that's how i was like okay maybe you can just say whatever you know but even i'm thinking here Bro, do we do we care about our politicians like that? Oh, 
that's a bit wild, man. Because we don't brag, though. Because the benefit yeah. of of the the way we relate to our politicians is that if you're a dope politician, we're gonna treat you way better than we would treat the best king. But if you're a trash politician, we're gonna treat you way worse than we would treat the worst king, right? Like you know, um, Jacinda Ardern in New Zone. Yeah. yeah. Bro, I love seeing videos of young, like high school kids or something. Every time they see it, they're like, "Oh, what's up, Auntie? What's Auntie? Aunt, what's her name? Jacinda. Auntie Jacinda." They right? love her over there. And she, just, yeah. she looks at them. And she goes, "Let's go!" Right? I'm like, "Oh, that's sick!" Like, that's mad. That's that's actually awesome. But then it's like, fuck, because we don't hold them in the like. Let's say like a um. You think we're doing that with Tony Abbott? No. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's gonna play for buddy smugglers, bro. You know. Right. I don't even know if a lot of people actually pay attention to like politicians over here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I wonder is that bad on our part that we don't? You know, like do you know our constitution constitutes, bro, or whatever, or whatever it might be. You know, we don't have I mean, freedom I... of speech here, though. We don't. Hmm? We don't have freedom of speech in our constitution. So, like, you actually can't say whatever you want. Okay, mm. I'm not mad about that. Yeah. I mean, bro, some things don't need to be said. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I'm very happy about but, but that. But what about that becomes an issue at work? You're like, I can't say that I'm a Christian or I can't, you know what I mean? Nah, but that's not, that's not what freedom is. That's different. That's different now. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now we're going backwards. You know, going, you do. Bro, cats, cats can hold rallies for um, pillow sheet heads in America. Yeah. yeah. Man, that's crazy. And they're covered. You know what I mean? That's why. For that, that's why I'm like, okay, I guess I kind of, I, I generally do like how we move here, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Although I hate when I walk into the city and they're doing the vegan protest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, right? Like, I don't mind if you feel like animal rights are that valuable stuff, but I just, I hate when they start mooing and like, Boy. <laughs> they no. start, you know, when they like chain themselves up and stuff, and I'm like, what? Whoa, 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 <laughs> what are you accomplishing whoa. here? They're not whoa, doing whoa. that. Whoa, I've never seen that. You, wait, you've never seen this? I've seen, I heard of the chaining one because uh, I heard a butcher threw some meat at some people at one of these rallies. But the mooing, <laughs> that's me <laughs> mad. The mooing, the mooing. Ah! <laughs> Imagine oh. coming out there with a nice tomahawk steak. Bro, Brendan was ching. <laughs> bro. This is your madness, bro. Hey, no, you had an interesting question. I mean, you've highlighted this whole 99% thing. So... What you said about ninety nine percent of these cases being uh traced back to uh, apparently someone's mismanagement. Yeah. With this, and then your question that you posed though mm-hmm. of should ah uh, yeah yeah I let you say it. Right? No, you, you go, you go, you go. All right. So your question that you asked this is interesting because I want I wonder how this plays out. You said okay. No, no, go yeah. No, you go, go. You said should Danny Andy be held criminally accountable for some of the handling or for just for some decisions you know for the mishandling yeah mishandling. all right are you are you insinuating that it's treason i don't know i don't think so i don't know mm. Mm. because if it goes with my theory that he was trying to get into a prime minister position is that not kind of overthrowing the government? When, if, if things were found out in that way, then that is definitely, um, what do you call it? No way, no way we all get assassinated after this episode. But, but, no, when, when you brought up before, I said that, I said to Carlos, the FBI is at this guy's door right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> not home. Um, <laughs> no. I, I think the difference, <laughs> but I think the difference in that situation uh, that you said, you know, is that um, you're saying him overthrowing the, the government so he can, become what the prime minister is, is, is that what you're referring to yeah but <laughs> huh? no, no, it's not overthrowing it's it like the whole movie plot <laughs> making people, like the very very best option but, slightly artificially but like, my question you know, is you know when sometimes people buff their chest a little bit more than others to that's the one to kind of present that i've got control i'm handling this yeah but clearly we've seen that taken a different turn in our situation here but if you know, obviously, this is not going to happen or it's not happening. But if he was to try to overthrow the government so he can <laughs> take over. That's not scenario, bro. Man, no, it's not this, but that, that's it but, sound like this is kings and knights, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, okay. So, what are we talking about then? In terms of 
in the public's eyes, I'm the one that took the boldest stance that everyone told me not to take, and yet it worked out well for my state. Oh, if yeah. That's, if that was the mentality, but clearly it didn't work. You know what I mean? It didn't work. Yeah. But, you know, if that was the mentality, does that equal to being... I, that's why I stand with it, because he had, I'm assuming, he would have had good intentions, right? Because he needed this move to work out so we could put him up there as like, True. yo, you killed that. Well done. Well done. Yeah? He killed so, it, but, sure. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but... If he was to, because it would it would make sense. He needs this to work out. He needs everyone to see him that he's doing a good job, right? So how can we turn around and say, "Hey, nah," when he's actually trying to do a good job? Because he needs to do a good job in order for him day, to yeah, people need to live to, to level up, up. Say, yeah. right? Yeah. You, you, get, you get what I'm saying? He needs to do a good job to level up. Mm -hmm. But it just happens that what he was trying to do just didn't work out the way that he wanted to work out. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. so I get you. Tough man, tough situation, bro. I could never do that, you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd enjoy one of those positions. But who knows? That role, man. It is tough, but ah, man. Hey, bro, we just gotta keep pushing through this. Man, like at this point, I don't. <laughs> I'm just like whatever. I remember ages ago. Uh, I remember. <laughs> I remember ages ago. I came in late. I, was, I didn't do my homework. I don't know, man. One of those things. And then after that, I lied to my teacher. But it sounded so believable. But obviously it was a lie. And she knew it was a lie. You know what she said to me? You should be a politician. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Is that the way we, we all be viewing them, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah Bro, I, like, I, like I, 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 I was a kid. I was in primary school. Like, I, like, I don't know. But, oh, you know, we vibe. Good. You get what I'm saying? Like, crazy. Yeah. Like, this one of those ways, I, I didn't get what she was saying. You get what I'm saying? But then, obviously, as we grow older, now... Because I, I, I'm friends with some politicians, right? Obviously, not on that scale, not on that level. More on, like, the... Um, Local. Council. You know, more on, like, on the council kind of level. You know, the, the, the local kind of level. Yeah. Right? And, and, you know, to be honest, I vibe with them, right? But a lot of them do kind of have, like... Well, a lot of people say that, oh, don't listen to them. Or, you know, yeah. they just talk, talk, talk. And, you know, act, you know. But I don't know. I guess from my experience, what I guess on the local kind of level is, like... They seem like they understand. You gotta. They seem like they should listen to the problems that you have. But then again, maybe because the magnitude is not as great. You know, obviously when you, you know, obviously now when you're on that state level, it's completely different then. Bro, I'm gonna ask, how much more interest do you guys think we should be taking in things like this? As because we right now ourselves could try to run to be on to represent to represent our council, right? Yeah, well, that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean, like we actually, listen, if you look at the do you have a certain age, I think you do. I don't I know. know. America, you can't like, there's a girl I know who literally she's 21 and she's running for her council. Um, so oh. the, the, the the representation in in the councils right now is definitely more more male, more white male, and and older white males as well. And we're talking like 50 years old plus, right? Mm. So us mm. right now, we could try to run for our you know, council positions. Why do we not see that in our young people? And do you think that we should? Like, should we take interest at that level? You know what I mean? Because we look at it and we're like, oh, how much can you do? But yeah. I feel like it's such a, a, it's such a position where we, at least traditionally, have valued maturity or, or not maturity, experience, life experience. Mm -hmm. um, because you're making decisions for multiple people. And so it makes the most sense, like, let's say I'm 50. I'm at an age where I'm pretty balanced, hopefully, in, in my life and things like, as in things aren't ideally. This is why we like married politicians as well, because we're like, okay, you have a wife, you have kids, things are safe. You've had them for a couple of years, that kind of thing, you know. Same kind of thing that people look at pastors as well, like a married pastor as opposed to single pastors. As yeah, absolutely. Pastor. Single pastor, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Single pastor, you can only be the youth pastor, pretty much. Yeah, that's literally <laughs> how it moves. <laughs> like, that's, that's the crazy guy that blows the budget all the time. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, they like. I, I think we we sort of like that because because I, I kind of feel because how do I say it? you're gonna be mom or dad to the whole city essentially, yeah, yeah. Right? or the whole town or whatever, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like. I don't want to see that you're doing family in your personal life before you try to do family in our community life. Yeah. Like imagine your 17-year-old cousin or something 
It's like next year I'm gonna run for this. You're like, boy. <laughs> I guess what you, the worth that you're seeing that though is now they represent the voice of the youth though. <laughs> they're tapped in because it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the head of the it means that they have a seat in the council to have a say you know what i mean i think i think it's also one of those ways like it, it's one of those areas or one of those jobs where it's like it's not spoken about a lot if that kind of makes sense it doesn't really appeal to young people just because we never really talk about it obviously like that's growing up, true. primary school high school you know you you hear like the health industry you hear like IT, this, 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 that, all those kind of stuff. But then an area that you don't list, I uh, hear about a lot is this particular area, right? So it doesn't yeah. kind of give like young people that hope that, hey, you can change your community one day if you go for this, if you go for that. Okay, I'm just realizing this now that you say it. Don't I realized something over it. All the things that we dreamt about being as children, suddenly it's like very impossible. And then oh. it's like, we don't want to be those things once we're older. Like, astronaut, only a couple people become, a, like, I don't know. Bro, you have to be a genius and insanely fit to become an astronaut, yeah? And But Just after the age of, right. like, the guy's holding on to the dream. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, like, after the age of, what, 10? Most people don't want to be an astronaut anymore. Archaeologists? Everyone's obsessed with dinosaurs for a couple of years and then not. Bro, you president, had kids primary archaeologists in your school, bro. Huh? You had kids trying to be archaeologists, huh? They just wanted to be with dinosaurs. Dinosaurs and that, yeah. You know what I realized, actually? Is that the archaeologist? That is, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I realized, though, as well, is I don't think the, the things that we're pushed towards or what's in front of us are actually even also. Um, things that allow you to make great change or influence if you think about mm. it oh uh, yeah you're, you're actually really only given jobs you are taught to be how to how, oh my goodness you are taught how to be a good employee bro I, I have to think are you yeah yeah i was gonna say like you're not really taught or like again i can't speak for everybody's experience and so on but i guess for my experience in high school and that it's like you weren't really taught how to make a difference Mm. you would just start like how to work and your work ethic and so on you get what i'm saying so it's almost like and even when if you have great leadership skills sometimes your teachers don't want to push you beyond just applying for leadership within the school it's like hey you know actually one day you can actually change the world with your leadership skills one day you can make a huge movement like they don't really kind of like those things you know you know what i mean so Sam, i'm thinking about this deeply now that is kind of mad the positions, that the, that are, the positions that are going to change generations are not. Are but then not. also, who do you see keeps taking those positions? Because it's those positions are all about connections, right? Yeah. It's all the people that go, went to private school, right? Which means their parents were rich and connected with other rich people and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or it's those people's children, right? So it's like you get... George Bush Sr. is president, then you get George Bush, the, or George W. Bush. The, <laughs> well, he's not the junior, right? Yeah. George W. Bush, right? It's like, same, oh, I'm yeah. sure same thing has happened with our prime ministers and councilmen and things like that. Yeah. Well, and women. I was listening to the Michelle Obama podcast and she said this um, line on the first ep. Uh, I added my part to it in brackets, but she goes, schools don't show you the world, they just show you a bunch of selective careers, right? And I was like, oh, snap. Like, you actually don't see the interconnectedness of the world from school. You see your lane and your this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. But, okay, but where does that fit into our society? And where does that fit into our world? You know? Well, you know, like, to be honest, until this whole virus situation happened, I did not realize, like, you know, you always kind of know it, but you don't realize the magnitude to which the whole world is connected. Mm -hmm. and everything uh, yeah. like everything because it's like like this morning was the champions league final right yeah there's no PSG. because there's no flights the final was supposed to have happened in may that means the, the, the price of t-shirts went down nobody's working the stadiums that means nobody's going to the restaurants around that means nobody mm -hmm. you know what i mean like all like everything is so connected but it's like you never right. really leave it until you're like oh there's no flights that means no one can 
You know what I mean? There's whole economies around the world that are crumbling now because all they do is tourism. Yeah. Oh, bro. Uh, this is a side. Oh, for sure, so, bro. Fam, even aside from um, Corona, but like in Mauritius, man, with the oil spill. I saw that. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and it's like, yeah. that's such a tourist, tourism heavy mm-hmm. nation. And now their coral reefs are like in danger of like being like, bro, what? Yeah. That's wild, man. Wow. Yeah, you're right, yeah. man. Every, every, everything is just connected. One thing fails, everything is going to go like, everything is going to fall away. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. What were we talking about? Though? Like, um, everything's connected with the school. Like the schools yeah. and that, and the career paths. But I had a question to ask that actually came to my mind earlier, but if you guys have anything to say about the school. No, I can't remember. Right. What so you said your mindset, or you, you thought, you know, about something because of these times. What I've starting to question or even think is what mindsets or how do you guys think this is changing you mentally as individuals, right? This what? situation, right? Like right now, what we're in, what's going on? How do you guys feel this is changing you mentally? I'm definitely, for me, I'm definitely thinking more like in terms of my wealth and things like that. I'm like generational, you know, mm-hmm. this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I, I'm more, um, I've definitely taken more time out during this period to focus on my money and getting that right and, you know, plans for the future and things like that and how that to go um, than I ever have before. I think that's the biggest part where I'll see change myself. I'm kind of at the same time, I'm like, I've become very... (laughs) Well, you know how there's like so much happening around the world where I'm like, I'm invested in this, right? Whether it's the, um, obviously the Black Lives Matter stuff and, and racial inequities and things like that. But then I'm also like, as much as I've become into learning more about others and helping others and stuff, I'm like, let me help myself too. Okay, because yeah. there's a whole element of this that's like, bro, at the end of the day, if everything is to collapse around this, in this country, someone, you know what I mean? people will get savage and my family matters to me more than anything else. Right. And so it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know if this happens in the future or whatever, again, it's like, I want my family to be good. Right. Yeah, yeah. I might be one of those guys that ends up building a bunker in the house. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> might have to, man. Yeah. Carlos, what's going on with you, man? You got me or something real quick. <laughs> I think for me, yeah, I definitely started to think a lot more long-term in everything, bro. And yeah. like just, what is the future and and thinking about actions now things i i, I do now things i things i focus on now and what does it mean in, in the grand scheme of my life you know what i mean things like that and uh, yeah just make me look at a lot of things and, and just question we've seen what's important in life you know it's been a mad year for one we for, we don't even realize that sometimes we forget kobe bryant died this year man it's been that long of year and Gigi and everyone else that was on the plane that was this year man that's it's been a long year and oh, even cool. even at that period of time i was like man think about life you know it's so short you know what i mean um love those and that was just from the 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 side of like um oh you never know when your time is up but now Cats are still alive, but we're even still thinking, think about life. There's things that are important. That's because we don't even realize, first it was, you, you know, live while you can, love while you can, because life is short. But now it's like things happen in life while you're still in the life situation and you need to put things in perspective within this time as well. Yeah. You know? Hey, real question. Mm. Which celebrities have died during this virus time? I don't, I can't remember any. I don't think celebrities exactly die, but there's been a lot that uh saying like they want to end their lives. Oh, like just didn't you see there was like two Oh I did. There was, was it? I think I there was Nick Cannon. Yeah, there that was, was, Cannon. There, was a, there was a there was a female as well. Yeah, who was the Was that Azilia Banks? Yes, yes, it was Azilia. Yes. Yeah. And then yeah. there was yeah, a, a, a rapper as well said something that I can't remember who, who it was. But, um, yeah, like, that's what I've seen, at least, uh, like, happening during this time. And that is wild, man, that that's, you know, this being stuck thing has pushed people to that kind of a situation. But, yeah, for me, at least, yeah, you know, let me not talk too much, man. Um, you know, like, I've definitely realized what's important and things like that. But I'm also, <laughs> maybe just right now, bro, man, <laughs> passive to things right now, bro. I'm like, oh, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> 
All right, now I'm just on the. It is what it is. It's not that deep vibe. You know what I mean? Mate, right. you're fired. They are oh. cool. Oh, what, mate? <laughs> <laughs> right, but, yeah. I've lately. I've maybe it comes from the thing of like you know putting things in perspective. But right lately, I've been like, ah, man, it's not deep. You know, move past it. Look past this. Move and, past it, bro. And just love I don't me. know, man. Yeah, man. I don't know, man. Yeah, but how do you think you'll be changed, right? Well, I don't know if I'll change for it. Mm. I don't know about that. But I don't know. I, I think, like, I think I still got the same mentality, but I think it's just being, like, a little bit deeper than before. Yeah. So Because, obviously, I'm doing, like, a lot of things in my life right now, and I think my goal is, like, how can I link all these things? Because there has to be a purpose to what you're doing. You get what I'm saying? Because obviously you're doing the podcast, doing this, doing that, doing that. But then it's like, okay, what is, is there some type of, you know, correlation between what I'm doing? Or is it just something that's completely different? Or how can I make it all relate as well? But yeah, um, I think it's like I'm more focused here. Like, like what you guys are saying, like more like long term. like I need to start making like, you know, before it's like, before it's like I know what I want to do. You mm. know what I mean? But then I was like, hey, yo, you got to make it happen. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's just like long-term stuff as well. So, And obviously, now that we know that this thing is going to change things forever, it's like, okay, is that going to affect what I'm trying to do? If so, what can I do about that? You get what I'm saying? Or is this going to help me even more with what I'm trying to do as well? So, I don't know, but I think it's, just, it's like it, it gets me thinking a lot more than before. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's what it is, you know? Everyone's definitely thinking yeah, more entrepreneurial, like just in general. Uh, yeah. But like, let me follow my passions and stuff like that. Bro, and, and I, I think for I, me, I, like, I, like that, man. Mm. yeah, it, it, it's, it's good. But I think for me, it's like I'm even deeper into that, into that pathway now, just because it's like I want to kind of control my own, my own situation. I want to kind of control my own dynamics. Yeah, you get what exactly. I'm saying? Because it's like honestly, like we don't know what's gonna happen uh, with where we're going right now. We don't know where the society is moving towards, where the world is moving towards, or what type of rules that we have to comply with. You get what I'm saying? But it's just more one of those ways, to like like what I said before, that if one of us was to say something in this, um, on this podcast that nobody likes or that someone don't like, at the end of the day, it's your podcast, bro. Right? It's our podcast, yeah? We're going to be recording next week. You get, <laughs> you, 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 you get what I'm saying? But then that's why it's like, okay, I want to be for next episode. <laughs> Bro, I was, I was watching another podcast, yeah, uh, in the comments, though, flaming this guy for a particular word and phrase he uses. I know what you're talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. They flamed him for what he said, and people were so hurt. Next episode, he's like, I don't care. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. You get, yeah. get what I'm saying? But, yeah, I, I think I just want to kind of like, I just want to kind of control where I'm going. You get what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to be able to, you know, do something that I disagree with, if that kind of makes sense. And I don't want to get too deep into it, you get what I'm saying? But it's just more like, you know, I don't want to, you know, if I feel morally wrong about this and you're trying to force me to do this, then I don't know how to feel about that. But then if you control your own dynamics, you could... About, Sorry? So I feel like we know right? exactly what you're talking about. Now, you guys might know, you get what I'm saying? But other people might not really know what I'm saying here, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. But then again, it's just more of those situations where it's like, again, we got no clue where we're going towards, Right? So there's just more of like, you know, and I want to be able to go towards a pathway that I can kind of control what's going on around me rather than other people kind of controlling the, the things for me. You yeah. get what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. It was, uh, one, like, of the, one of our friends, she was saying like, and I, I kind of agree with her. She was saying like, during this whole time, you've seen so many of our friends release music or start podcasts or um, all this like, you know, art pages, whatever. And it's like, it might be because they're not seeing people or even their own friends, especially in real life, that it's like they don't feel the... Because, you know, when you start something and your friends around you, you're going to be like, oh, you're doing this now. You're trying yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Whereas, like, right now, no one can really do that. So it's like, yeah. you know what? They're literally just in their bubble and they're getting the feedback, the yeah. love that they get. And whoever catches it, catches it. Yeah, that's true. No way you're jumping on the bandwagon. Should I make a... Only hand? Checks. Whoa. Wait, what, what just happened? What whoa, just... whoa, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I said, should I make a song? This guy said, do you want to make an OnlyFans together? I don't know what's going on here, guys. But honestly, I, I, I agree with that. You get what I'm saying? Like, a lot of the stuff where it's like, you know when, when something was on the trend and then you see one of your, your friends jumping on it, you're like, bro, I know you're jumping on it because of the hype. Yeah. You know, we, we hear that a lot. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people are making music these days. Imagine if I was like, yeah, hey, I'm going to make music. You guys, 
I don't know how you guys are gonna react to that, but <laughs> <laughs> but you guys are gonna say I'm jumping on. You guys are gonna say I'm jumping on the hype. You get what I'm saying? Whereas it's like if I don't hear those thoughts or those negative uh, talks or whatever, it's like I'm just gonna do it no matter if this thing be going on for years. No matter if every, the whole world's on it, I don't care. Yeah. I mean, Daniel's been dropping music since 2016. Hey, relax. <laughs> 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 Boy, no cap. I actually could write if I was trying to write, man. Yo. No way Daddy started the whole music game. Shot a young East African girl and Shotty knocked me off my feet and just rocked my whole world. She whole world. Like, hey, the timer went off for the... <laughs> but you know what I was laughing this whole time? Because I was thinking about Kim on stage, how he ended his podcast. <laughs> He's like, so... <laughs> this one's kind of a short one, but that's because I've been thinking about taking a dookie this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Nah, that's a little bit but yeah, no, nah, it's, you know. It's just... You guys want to add anything, any, any questions? No, man. Bro, I'm trying to play a general knowledge cahoots and just whoop you guys for some reason. I don't know hey, why. Is that what we're trying to do? I'm on the cahoot website right now. <laughs> just all, right, all right, all right. Let's, let's end this episode and then let's... Sorry, guys. That's it because we're trying to play cahoots. All right. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. We're going to play a game. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Disruption Podcast. If Maybe. you enjoyed it, please like. Um, give us a rating if you're on Apple or Spotify. Thumbs up on YouTube's, all that kind of stuff. I don't and like the dance Carlos is doing. I don't feel safe. Yeah, me too. It's like the an even smaller version. Uh, you know to yeah, be yeah, yeah, yeah. by anyone, <laughs> bro. bro yeah. So apparently, the uh, reason that dance came about is because he was on set and they were like, "Hey, hey, um, Alfonso, do a dance like a white person." <laughs> you guys <got> went. <laughs> Like, literally, that's how it came about. And he was like, all right. <laughs> you know what's it's funny? Legit, only when, that dance when we watch that, we are like, this guy ain't got no rhythm. Well, because he is the one that's like a... That's the, you know, the preppy, all of that. Yeah. That's madness, bro. Oh, I love that show, man. All right. Thank you for joining us for another episode. We'll catch you next week. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>